This is the truck that used to be stuck in the lake. And in this video, we're pulling it out and stick around to see how we do it. It's currently almost six o'clock. We're headed to the shop right now to go make sure everything's ready to go for the ice recovery we got to do today we got another one to do this one's down at another lake i know another company tried to pull it out yesterday and they had no luck with it they couldn't get it out so they called us asked us if we could do it so we got everything set up last night loaded up all of our rigging into the trailers and we're going down there bright and early this morning to try and get it out so we'll see how today goes hopefully it goes like the last few and is somewhat easy all right we got our recovery trailer loaded up on shaggy full of stuff and we got sonic with our timbers and the quad all right we just got here and uh we're doing some test holes pulling everything out there to get this thing out this unlucky ice fisherman didn't make it too far out we're gonna see if we can get them out today it might be best to get it all rigged and then chainsaw so the truck drops right in and then we can get our timbers under better if it doesn't want to come nice because we could chainsaw from basically the front of the box back and i would probably go through i would probably try and just put the timbers under the way it is yeah, we can draw it first. before we drop it i'm just gonna uh fill a hole Very deep. Drilling some test holes here to see how thick the ice is, and I look over and there is birds floating in the open water right there, and it's open right up here too. Not what you want when you're ice fishing in open water. So if you go take a look at our channel, we actually have two other ice recoveries that we've done this year alone up on there. Um, this one's definitely going to be the hardest because the ice is super thin, but it's also going to be the easiest because we're using a legit tow truck this time because it's nice and close to shore, not as far out as the other ones. So Kalen ended up pulling the short straw and he has to put his hand down in the water to hook the hitch up here. We should have brought a thermometer to test how cold the water is for you. It's freaking cold. Did you get it? Yeah. Perfect. This is just absolutely insane to look at. I've said it every single time we've done one of these, but it's just so weird to be standing on ice and looking at this vehicle that's just in the water. If it'll slide under there or not. Oh, that's under the dip, and that's on the ground. Scary, I think. Definitely underneath the dip, because you just hit the dip. Good work. We are just getting all of the rigging finalized here we've got our timbers which are under the axle and they're going to help keep the weight up they're going to be pulling the truck like this so that we don't have to have a boom way out here well i mean you can't because it's very thin ice there's a fisherman in the background <laughs> so we got a compound layup here we're using our dodge 5500 12 ton racker this time to winch we have the lines off of it both lines married together the truck's too far away to double up the lines back to itself so we got to marry together which reduces the line load and once we have the truck on the ice when you winch with both winches it's double the speed so it'll be a little faster we're all rigged up here ready to go so we're gonna put a little pull on and see how it reacts I'm gonna start the pull here. Oh, 
It's moving. All right, continuing on with the pull. Looks like one of us is gonna have to go swimming for a mud flap and that ripped off. And the side's popping up beautifully. He's actually just driving the tow truck forward. It's a four-wheel drive dodge, so lots of power to pull this thing. It's on slippery ice. But that I would say is out. We have to worry about this part right here. It looks like when the truck initially drove in, that's where it initially broke through. So what we're gonna do now is shorten up um, our cable and we're gonna take a run at this spot right here so that it doesn't try and fall back in right here because it looks like it already broke through here once before it broke through over there. You know, it's funny with these um, the people that come and watch us do these. I wonder if they're wanting to watch us get it out successfully or if they wanna see the truck fall all the way in because I know people like to watch destruction videos. So hopefully it's them having faith in us. We're gonna just pull it out here, get some speed to get over this gross spot right here where it looks like it initially fell in before it met its demise over there. Hell oh yeah, brother. So now that we got the truck out off the ice and onto dry land here, we're lifting it up, take those timbers out, and then we'll move this truck. We'll get the flatbed in here. We'll load it up. Bob's your uncle, we're out of here. All right, we got everything loaded up here. We're um, ready to head out now. That was a pretty awesome recovery. It went quick. It's a nice sunny day out, so it wasn't too bad at all to do. <laughs> Smile. All right, there we go. That should be good. Thanks for watching. <laughs>